Uh, please rise for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I would like to now introduce our advisor, Ms. Lynn. Um, I want to welcome you, everyone, come to our 2023 Chinese Honor Society ceremony. Our first Chinese Honor Society ceremony was in 2013, exactly 10 years ago. And uh, anybody know, do any, does anyone know when our Chinese program started in school district, Woodbridge School District? Anybody knows? All right, 20, uh, I mean 2006, that's when. And uh, at that time, everybody thought Chinese language was so hard, so they decided to just pick one school. And uh, luckily, we were picked Colonial High and the Colonial Middle Schools. So that was in uh, back to 2006. And they want to see how it goes so they can have the JFK and the Woodbridge High to follow. And, um, you know, in the beginning, the first year, I remember we had 15 students in high school entire year. It's not two semesters, but I mean two semesters. It's not just one semester. Two semesters add up together. This is selective, so elective. So we only have 15 students the first year. And um, middle school, seventh grade, eighth grade, they were about the same number, 15 students. So uh, the first year, we have that number. And the second year, they give us two years. They give me two years, actually. Um, at that time, I was the only Chinese teacher. So two years later, luckily, the program went up, went very well. So JFK and the Woodbridge High, they decided to um, start a Chinese program. And the third year, because we grow so fast, and I became the fourth time uh, in uh, Colonial High, and um, middle school, they hired uh, Mr. Liu, another Chinese teacher, to take over. At that time, I was thinking, oh, we almost reached it to 100 students now, you know, middle school and high schools. But uh, the third years, we have uh, our, um, the best time, we had like uh, five Chinese teachers in school district. I don't know if everybody um, met other Chinese teachers. But um, um, yesterday, I went to Chinese, I went to, um, I want to uh, order a takeout in Chinese restaurant to order a takeout Chinese food. And I run into a former student of mine and she showed me, she gave me a very warm big hug and she recognized me right away. I did not even remember her. And then she showed me her children's picture. Guess what? My former student, four children, <laughs> four children more than me already. And I say, well, if she was my daughter, I would have a four grandchildren now. <laughs> Time goes by so quick. It was like a two, 2006, and now it's our 17th year have Chinese program in this school district. And, uh, and uh, the, of course, uh, Woodbridge High and the JFK, they had two years less, right? <laughs> we have uh, 17 years. So uh, we are doing excellent. But all the time, I was wondering, what my students think about learning Chinese. And then later, they will share their experience of learning Chinese with everyone in Chinese. <laughs> but of course, they were uh, translated into, um, into um, English. And um, before I let them start to introduce themselves one by one, I would like to also share a good news with everyone here. This year, we work with Middlesex County College and the students, if they finish level three, Chinese, level four, they have the chance to earn three credits, the college credits. And uh, so far, we have a juniors, we have a so uh, seniors here. Some of them, seniors, they finish the two years, level three and level four Chinese. And the juniors, they are in level three now. So they all have the potential to earn this three credits, college credits. All right, so congratulations. 
And next, I would like to introduce, I'm proud to introduce the president of our National Chinese Honor Society, Gabriela Alisi. Daja Hao, Woda Yingwen Mingzijiao, Gabriela Alessi, Wo Zai Shi'er Nianji, Wo Shi Zhang Tong, National Chinese Honor Society, Wo Shui Zhangwen Qi Nian Le, Daja Do Shuo Zhangwen Nan, Dan Wo Jue De Zhangwen Han Rong Yi Shui. Hai Yo, Nyu Shi Lin Yi Shi Yi, Wei Liao Bu Qi, De Lao Shi, Ta Rong Shui Shi, Shangwen Bianda Rangi Duola Swija Wo Shang Dashwe Wo Shi Wang Jiang Lai Ji Shui Shui Shi Shangwen Shi Shi Daja De Guanglin Zhonin Isha Yu Kwai Shi Shi Ni Hi everyone, my name is Gabriella Alessi. I'm in 12th grade, and I'm the president of National Chinese Honor Society. I've learned Chinese for seven years, and everyone says that Chinese is difficult, but I think it's very easy to learn. And Ms. Lin is a fantastic teacher, and she makes learning Chinese much easier. As I move on to college, I hope to continue learning Chinese in the future. Thank you all for coming, and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our co-president of National Chinese Honor Society, Eva Mazzara. Daja hao, wo de ming zi jiao ma ai wa, wo de ying wen ming zi jiao Eva Mazzara, wo zai shi er nian ji, wo shi co-president of the National Chinese Honor Society, wo shui zhang wen qi nian, qi nian ni, Daja do shu zhang wen nan, dan wo jue do zhang wen, hen rong yi shui. Ha yo nu shi lin shi yi wei liao bu qi, de lao shi. Thank you. To rong shui shi zhang wen bian de rong yi, duo le. Sui zhi wo shang da shui wo Shi Wang Jiang Lai Ji Shu Shui Shi Zhang Wen Xie Xie Da Zhe De Guang Lin Zhui Nian Yi Shi Yu Kui Xie Xie Ni Hello everyone, my name is Eva Mazzara. I'm in 12th grade. I am the co-president of the National Honor Society, uh, National Chinese Honor Society. Um, I learn, I've been learning Chinese for seven years. Everyone says that it's difficult, but personally, I think it's easy. Um, also, Miss Lin is a fantastic teacher, and she makes learning Chinese much easier. Um, uh, when I move on to college, I hope to continue learning Chinese in the future. Thank you for coming and enjoy the ceremony. I would like to next introduce our Vice Pre President, Malia. Xiao Wu Hao, wo de zhong wen ming zi jiao xia men gan, ke shi ni men ke yi jiao wo Malia. Wo zhong wen xie le wu nian. Um, Unian, 
今年我们吃了煎菜，所以我们能去一家餐厅吃饭中国菜。<笑>有一天，我我想去台湾一次，因为我想试试哪儿的食物。今年 ，C H S 中文网友学会。学会很忙。Katrina 设计我们的衬衫，呃，在一页我们买了千油饼。以后我们会介绍中国文化和语言。我希望你，我希望你喜欢。谢谢大家。Hi, my name is Malia. My Chinese name is Xiaomengan. I've been studying Chinese for five years, and My Chinese now is much better than it was last year.、Uh, we have people have studied Chinese three and Chinese four、uh, here with us today. You may ask, what do you even study in Chinese class? Well, this year we've learned how to order food so that we can go to a Chinese restaurant and try to order in Chinese、uh, sometime, <laughs>、uh, and then. Uh, one day, I would like to go to a Taiwanese night market just to try the food, cause food. This year, a Chinese honor society was very busy. Katrina designed our shirts. Thank you. And in January, we、uh, sold fortune cookies. Later, we will be doing presentations for Chinese culture and language. Thank you, everybody. I would like to introduce our secretary, Isabel. Thank you, guys. Okay. 大家好，我的英文名字叫 Isabel， 我的中文名字叫米伊莎。我从去年起开始上中文课，我不确定我是否会在大学上中文课，但如果可以的话，我很乐意。我今年大四了。我打算去做职业，就和爸妈就上大学。我还在等待做职业大学的回复，但如果他们接受我，那我就会去。感谢林老师这四年对我这么好，也很。期待我的未来，谢谢，好好学习。Okay, my name is Isabel. My Chinese name is Misha. Um, I've been learning Chinese for around seven years, I think. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue studying it in college, but I definitely will if it's an opportunity. I plan to study nutrition or accounting, whatever I land on. <laughs> Um, and I'm grateful to Miss Lin for making my high school experience so great. Thank you. Good job. I would now like to introduce our treasurer of National Chinese Honor Society, Jeffrey. You're fine. <laughs> Dajia Hao, Wojia Soijia, Kusha Woda Yingwen Ming Sajao Jeffrey Trella. Wogan Lin Laoshu Shwela Sun Yan Zhongwen Tasha Wo Wei Yi Kai Jama Shuo de Laoshu Jingwan Tada Fang Fa Duta Yanga Yosha Ya Shuda Huai Yi Dan Wo Kai Hao Wu Yi Wen de Shuo. Wo song ta de ka shang shui dao le hen duo dong qi bing jie zai shui shi guo chang zhong huo le de le hen duo le chu. Dang wo li kai gao zhong shi wo jue dui hui xiang nian ta tai shi wo song 
Zhongshui, Dao De, Wei Yi Yi, Wei, Zhang Zhang, Li Jie, Wo De, Lao Shi, Er Qie You Ju Yu, Zhe Ge, Ye Shi Shi, Wo Zui Huo, Yi Ce Jian, Dao Ta, Wo Qing Xiang, Yu Shuo Sheng Xie Xie, Zuo Wei, Zhe Ge Vong Yu, Xie Hui, De Yi Wen, Wo Hen Kai Xian, Zhe Zhe Jie Shi, Wo Yao Shuo De, Xie Xie Ni, Xiang Shou, Jin Wan Sheng, Xian De, Xie Jian. All right. Hello everyone, I'm Soi Jie, but my English name is Jeffrey Trella. I learned English from Miss Lin for four years, and she's the only teacher I can say that about. Although her methods were unique, strict, and at times questionable, I can say without any doubt that I learned a lot from her classes, and had a lot of fun while doing it. I'm absolutely going to miss her when I leave high school, as she's one of the only teachers I've learned from that really understood me, and since this ceremony is one of the final times I'll see her, I'm inclined to say thank you. I had a blast as part of the Sun Society, and that's about all I have to say. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the evening. With that, those were our officers, but we have many more people, obviously, to introduce, so we will start introducing our members, starting with Aiden A. Dajia Hao, what a Zhang Wen Ming Zhao, Lei Ai Dong, what a Ying Wen Ming Zhao, Aiden Alasi, Wo Tong Liu Nian Ji Kai Shi Shui Chi Zhang Wen, Zhemma Yu Yan Fei Chang Yo Chu, Wo Jian Yi Nian Zai Yo Ji Hui Shi Shui Chi Ta. Hello, everyone. My English name is Aiden Alasi. My Chinese name is Lei Ai Dong. I've been taking Chinese since sixth, since sixth grade. The language is very fun, and I recommend learning it when you have the opportunity to. Next, we have Andrew A. Daja Hao, Woda Yingwen Ming Zhao, Andrew Alessi, Zhongwen Ming Zhao, Wei Anzhuo, Ming Yan Wo Hui, Zai Zhongwen Four, Wo Xiang Yo Yi Tian Shu Zhongguo, Wo Yo Jue De, Zhongwen Hen Nan, Yi Ho Wo Shui, Ji Shu Shui Shi Zhongwen. Hello, everyone. My English name is Andrew Alessi, and my Chinese name is Wei Anzhuo. Next year, I'll take Chinese level four. I want to go to China one day, and I do find Chinese quite difficult. I will continue to study Chinese in the future. Next is Noah A. Dadia Xiao Wu Hao, what the Ming Zi Jiao Noah Alvarez, what the Zhong Wen Ming Zi Jiao Ai Nuo Ya, Wu Hui Shuo Kan He Xie Yi Dian Zhong Wen, Wu Nian Wu Xue Zhong Wen, Lin Lao Shi Rang Xue Xie Zhong Wen. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Noah Alvarez, and my Chinese name is Ainoa Ya. I can speak, read, and write a little bit of Chinese. I've been studying Chinese for five years since the sixth grade. Uh, Miss Lin makes learning how to Chin learning how to write, read, and speak Chinese easy and fun. Next is Katrina D. (Applause) 
Daja Hao, Wood to Zong Wen, Ming Zhao, Dung Suina, Jin Yan, Wun Yan, Gao Song, Wu Zong Wen, Shui La, Lun Yan, Wu Jida, Zong Wen, Han Yu Si, Han Ku, Han Bu Yu Yang, Wu Shi Huan, Shi Zong Wen, Kushi, Wu Yu Shu Hu, Bu Zhu Dao, Zen Mu Yang, Zong Wen, Shu, Shui Li, Shui Shi, Zong Wen, Shu Yu Si, Han Bang, Da Jing Li, Jing Li, Xie Xie Dai Zhao. Um, hello, my Chinese name is Deng Suina. I'm studying in 12th grade this year. I have studied Chinese for six years, and I think Chinese is interesting, cool, and different. I like to write Chinese, but sometimes I have a hard time speaking. Um, learning Chinese was a great experience. Thank you all, and thank you to Miss Lin. Next is Arian G. Jintian Shi Hao Rizu. What the Zhong Wen Ming Zi Jiao Jiaran. Ping Chang Wu Arian. Wu Zhong Wen Shui Le Wu Nian. Wu Ting Shu Zhong Wen Han Nan. Kashi Wu Zhui De Zhong Wen Yu Yi Si. Woman Shwela Hundua Wati Tong Wen Ho Yu Dao Shur Shang Xiao Yo Yi Tian Wu Wu Xi Wang Nang Shu Yi Ko Liu Li Da Zhong Wen Swa Yi Wu Ke Yi Ha Swa Yo Da Zhong Wu Ren Jiao Tan Ju Zhong Wu Tai Nan Le Dan Shi Shu Zhong Wen Hai Shi Yi Wei Da Zhe Wu Ke Yi Zai Mei Gu Ha Zhong Wu Ren Jiao Tan Xie Xie Da Jia Today is a good day. My, name is, my Chinese name is Jia Rayan. Usually, people call me Aryan. I've studied Chinese for five years. I hear people say Chinese is hard, but I think it is a very interesting language. We've learned about a lot of topics, from greeting someone all the way to the Chinese zodiac. I hope to one day be fluent in Chinese so I can talk to all the Chinese people. Going to China is very hard, but speaking Chinese will still mean that I can talk to the Chinese people in America. Thank you, everyone. Next is Samuel R. Ni hao. Wo jai wo jiao sa ma er li bin. Wo jie la liu nian zhang wen. Ming nian wo jiao shang shi er nian ji la. Wo zhang you yi tian chi zhang go. Wo chang le tu jian chang shi zhang wen ta de when Hua Rong Wo Hen Gan Zheng Chu. Hello, my name is Samuel Rubin. I studied Chinese for six years. I will be in the 12th grade next year. I want to go to China one day, and I highly recommend trying Ch Chinese. Its culture intrigues me. Next is Diego V. Dajia hao. Wo de ming si jiao Diego Vargas. Wo zhong shui le wu nian. Wo di yi, wo di yi zi shui zhong wen shi zai zhong shui. Ren men zhu de zhong wen hen nan. Dan shi yi ni qing zhu zhong wen ji ben jie guo. Jo Hui Bian de Gang Rong Yi, Heng Duo Zhong Guo Zi Gong Shang Bi Zi de Bu Fen Suo Yi, Ni Yi Jing Zi Dao Xie Zhong Wen Zi Cong Bie Zi. Next is Jin Yan. 
Hello, my name is Diego Vargas. I've been studying Chinese for five years. I started roughly halfway through middle school, and people have said that Chinese is, lear is, is uh, learning Chinese a bit difficult, but it's honestly not that hard since the whole method behind learning Chinese is on a basis of characters, and as such, certain characters appear over and over again, so it can net you a certain meaning of how all that works. So the more words you learn, the more you'll probably come to understand it, so it's not that hard. Last but not least, Subhan Y. Nihao, Nihao Ma Wojo, Subhan Shing Yunus, was the CHS, the Shui Shang was Shing Yi, Meng Zhong, or Shui Shang was right, Sihan the Yan Sashi Lansa, or Zoe Sihan the Shi Yang Ro was way. Wo Chu Shang Yu 2016 Nian Wo Hello, my name is Subhan Yunus. I took uh, Chinese at Colonia for two years. This is my last year, but I'm still trying to go to China. Thank you. With that, that is a list of all of our members and inductees, so congratulations to everyone. And as a member of National Chinese Honor Society, you do receive a honor cord. So I would like to welcome Andrew A. and Noah A. to oh, read a passage. We, um, hold on to that. I have a surprise for everybody here. This one has a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, they have been done such a wonderful job. So I prepared some uh, awards for my excellent students here, my officers. So uh, I would like to give this a uh, little award for my president. You want to <laughs> Helper has been helped me to do the work last year and this year for two years. Without her, this won't be the same. <laughs> and now this goes to Eva. Eva has been a good helper, and she did the skit. Our skit spent the editing and spent extra hours to help us to put the, the skit together and uh, in the video later we're going to show the skit, right? right. <laughs> and our co-president, <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Uh, without Maria, she spent so much effort, so much time, and uh, contact, uh, communicate with the vendors. And uh, so we have such a wonderful unit. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. And plus, on top of it, she had a morning announcement several times to help us to remind the students come to the meeting. And those are the excellent work. And thank you. <laughs> And of course, this wonderful uniform, with, if we don't have Katrina to help desire our daughters. <laughs> and uh, design the programs, last year, this year's program, and the shirt all come from her design. And thank you so much. <laughs> Treasure. Uh, Jeffrey, <laughs> two years again, two years work, counting money. <laughs> after the meeting's over, he stay after, help me to count the points. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep the records, an excellent job. So I have to say yes. <laughs> and, um, all right. Isabel, oh. Isabel, <laughs> our secretary, two years secretary, and uh, help us to do all the meeting minutes. And thank you for your 
Good, excellent work. <laughs> Without them, this then morning will be all different. And uh, again, I want to thank you, everybody. <laughs>
Jin Tian Wan Shan Woman Yo Shuan La Tan Shuan Chuan the La La the Tan to you Tian 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 the Shuan Chuan the Her Hai Shen Chang Yan Han Hao Cha Ni Men Joy the Zamayan Ni Abu Ya Shu Shu Ni Han Yo Mei Yo Don Wan Mei Yo Don Wan Ni Sin Mai Wan the Shang Ge Xing Qi San 牛肉饺子和一盘长寿一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一盘一
就快钱，汤出油，七七十七两块两毛五，两罐黄瓜五块钱，米饭一块五毛，炒饭三块五毛，一杯冰茶三块两毛五，一杯可乐两毛七毛。Uh, 两块几毛？牛肉加子呢？牛肉加子免费，因为有些满不满意。可是你们吃了素加子，素一盘素加子六块几毛五，一共七十六块五毛。我玩了在饭卡，我不知道饭卡在哪儿。糟糕，我没有现金。没关系，我有八十块钱现金，给你现金。我收你四块钱。哎，你找错了，你错交了五毛。对不起，对不起，我没有看清楚。没关系，再见，再见，再见。好，尽快再来。嗯、so we hope you enjoyed that. It was definitely an experience making that. <laughs> It was. <laughs> Do we introduce the first presentation? Um. Yeah. So. For our first presentation, we have Aiden Alessi doing Chinese food. So here we have Chinese food by me. We're going to be going over some common Chinese foods such as, such as dumplings, which in Chinese is jiaozi. Dumplings are very well known, and both in and out of China, they are mainly filled with things traditionally veggies or chicken. We could also fill them with other things, as you please. Next up is kung pao chicken, which is gong bao ji ding, which is popularized in the Sichuan province or state. Traditionally, a spicy stir-fried Chinese dish consisting of cubes of chicken, peanuts, Welsh onions, and chili peppers. And chow mein, which is zhou mein. Is made of fried noodles and vegetables, and may include meat or tofu as well. And chow mein originated in the Guangdong province. And just like here in the U.S., China also has their own ice cream, or in Chinese, bing shi lin. Chinese in Chinese ice cream is similar to American ice cream, but there's also some more flavors, and the Asian dishes are also mixed along with it. That is the end. Thank you. Our next presentation is Malia. It is often used for beginners 
all beginners to practice because it uses all the basic strokes. So there's the character for water. It uses the basic strokes for Chinese calligraphy. Um, and then my favorite uh, character or set of characters is China because it's just fun. Uh, that would be Zhongguo on the right. Except that it's bleeding a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. And yes, that's that's my good. Um, so who, what you doing? Uh, next we have Katrina doing Chinese and Taiwanese video games. So China and Taiwan has uh, one of the biggest gaming market in the world. Its influence on narrative and mechanical development has impacted the industry, releasing titles such as Geshin Impact, Devotion, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World of the Game. So Geshin Impact is an action role-playing game developed and published by Mihio in 2020. Uh, the story revolves around a traveler exploring another world trying to find their missing twin. You can choose to play different characters, find items, and complete missions throughout the game. Uh, Devotion is a first-person psychological horror video game set in 1980s Taiwan. Uh, it was developed by Red Candle Games and published in early 2019. The player explores an empty apartment in Taipei that belonged to a family, a family piously devoted to religion. It incorporates elements of culture, religion, and spirituality. As more is uncovered in the apartment, the atmosphere becomes creepy and harrowing, driving the player into fear and dread. Um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Scott Pilgrim um, vs. the World, the game, is based off the graphic novel series under the same name, written by Canadian author Brian Lee O'Malley. The story follows Scott Pilgrim on his quest of music, video games, friendship, and love. The 2D side-scrolling video game was developed and published by Ubisoft in 2010. Its gameplay involves fighting enemies and collecting money. Um, next is History of the Chinese Dragon by Arian and Diego Vargas. Hello, so we're going to be presenting the History of the Chinese Dragon, and if you want to say that in Chinese, you would say it long. So, ancient Chinese people followed a brief belief called totemism. This was the practice of tribes displaying animals and plants they feared as their symbols. By doing this, they believed that they would protect themselves from harm from said creatures. Some tribes' ancient totems included those of the tiger, ox, snake, and bird. Eventually, these tribes merged into one, which left what animal should be used as their symbol in question. This was solved by incorporating a piece from each previous totem to make a new one, leading to the creation of the dragon totem. While it is not the same as today's conventional Chinese dragon, it bears some striking similarities that have endured through thousands of years of Chinese cultural evolution. Uh, the meaning of the dragon. At first, depictions of dragons in ancient China were only meant to be totems or stylized depictions of real animals, but eventually throughout history they evolved to become the creatures of legends. Unearthed dinosaur bones were likely agreed to be the remains of dragons, and so many believe they were creatures that lived long ago. Through thousands of years of depictions and writing, they became integral parts of Chinese culture. Dragons were strongly intertwined with water and weather as a whole. It is believed that they have control over bodies of water, whether it be lakes, rivers, waterfalls, or even seas. During times of drought or flooding, it was normal for the local gentry and government officials to lead the community in offering sacrifices and conducting other religious rites to appease the, drag to appease the dragon, whether it be to ask for more rain or less. So this is the progression of the dragon. So in the Xinglonghua culture, which was a Neolithic era of China, which was 6,200 to 5,400 BCE, dragon life motifs were first discovered. Um, then, way later, in the Xia dynasty, uh, 2,070 BCE to 1,600 BCE, it was the first of a succession of 13 Ch uh, dynasties starting from 2070 BCE going to the abdication of the last emperor in 1912. Here, the symbol of a dragon first began to be used to represent the emperor. And now, with the PROC, or the People's Republic of China, uh, worship of the Chinese dragon is practiced. 
It even appears on some flags reminiscent of the time of the dynasties. Uh, the dragon dance. Over time, the dragon uh, also became the symbol of celebration. Temples were constructed to worship this fantastical beast, and on festive days, people would perform the dragon dance and twirl the dragon lantern. Festivals. Several different dragon festivals are celebrated. For example, during the dragon worship festival and the spring dragon festival, people pray for good weather so that crops can flourish. Additionally, during the dragon boat festival, races are held in boats shaped like dragons. Thank you, everyone. Um, next is Chinese Zodiacs by Samuel Rubin. The Chinese Zodiac. The Chinese Zodiac represents the Lunar New Year, and each Zodiac animal representing the year, rotating on a 12-year cycle. Each year, animals has a personality type, like Zodiac star signs, but differ in birth year instead of birth month. Zodiac animals. There are 12 Zodiac animals, the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. The story. The story about the great race where the Jade Emperor held a race for the titles of the, on the lunar, lunar calendar. The cat and the rat were not good at swimming, but they were both quite intelligent. They decided that the best and fastest way to cross the river was to hop on the back of the ox. The ox, being kind-hearted and naive, agreed to carry them both across. As the ox was about to reach the other side of the river, the rat pushed the cat into the water and then jumped off the ox and rushed to the Jade Emperor. It was named as the first animal on the Zodiac calendar. The ox had to settle in second place. The third one to come was the tiger. Even though it was strong and powerful, it explained to the Jade Emperor that the currents were pushing him downstream. Suddenly from a distance came a thumping sound, and the rabbit arrived. It explained how it crossed the river by jumping from one stone to another in a nimble fashion. Halfway through, it almost lost the race, but was lucky enough to grab hold of a floating log that later washed him to sh shore. For th that, it became the fourth animal in the zodiac cycle. In fifth place was the flying dragon. The Jade Emperor was wondering why such an airborne creature, such as a dragon, did not come in first. The dragon explained that it had to stop by a village and brought rain for all people, and therefore it was held back. Then on its way to finish, it saw the helpless rabbit clinging onto a log, so that it did the good deed and gave a puff of breath to the poor creature, so it could land on shore. The Jade Emperor was astonished by the dragon's good nature, and was named as the fifth animal. As soon as it had done so, a galloping sound was heard, and the horse appeared. Hit on the horse's hoof was the snake, whose sudden appearance gave it a fright, thus making it fall back and give the snake the sixth spot while the horse placed seventh. After a while, the goat, monkey, and rooster came to the heavenly gate. With combined efforts, they managed to arrive to the other side. The rooster found a raft, and the monkey and the goat tugged and pulled, trying to get all the weeds out of the way. The Jade Emperor was leaving their teamwork and decided to name the goat as the eighth animal, followed by the monkey and then the rooster. The eleventh animal placed in the zodiac cycle was the dog. Although it should have been the best swimming rider, it spent its time to play in the water, though his explanation for being late was because it needed a good bath after a long spell. For that, it almost did not make it to the finish line. Right when the emperor was going to end the race, an oing sound was heard. It was the pig. pig. The pig felt hungry in the middle of the race, so it stopped, ate something, and then fell asleep. After it awoke, it finished the race in 12th place and became the last animal to arrive. The cat eventually drowned and failed to be in the zodiac. It is said that this is the reason cats always hunt rats and also hate water as well. That is it. Thank you. Now we will be introducing Chinese Holidays by Sapan. There's seven official holidays in China. Most of them are based on the lunar calendar, which is based on the moon. And festivals have been around in China since the Qin Dynasty, around 200 BC. And they celebrate with cultural music, dance, and food. Chinese New Year is a major Chinese holiday, which is based around the lunar calendar. It lasts up to 16 days, and people celebrate leaving the past and the good fortune that will come with the new year. Each year has its own zodiac, and this year was the year of the rabbit. They decorate their homes, get, com get together with family, eat dumplings, and they light lanterns and set off fireworks. The Chinese Dragon Boat Festival occurs on the fifth day of the fifth month. It celebrates the life and death of the famous Chinese scholar Chu Yuan. He was wrongfully exiled and expressed anger and sorrow towards his people in his famous poems. They celebrate by eating rice dumplings, drink, drinking real beer wine, hang icons of Zhang Kui and race boats. For our last performance as a group, we are going to sing If You're Happy and You Know It in Chinese. Ready? <laughs> 
心里就说你好，你好。我们一起唱歌，我们一起跳舞，我们大家一起吹掌纹，吹掌纹。你很高兴，你就拍拍手。你很高兴，你就拍拍手。我们一起唱歌，我们一起跳舞，我们大家一起拍拍手。你很高兴，你就踩踩脚。你很高兴，你就踩踩脚。我们一起唱歌，我们一起跳舞，我们大家一起踩踩脚。And that concludes our National Chinese Honor Society induction ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, we are going to be offering refreshments over there, so if you would like to snack for a bit, um, feel free. Uh, Miss Lynn will be sticking around if you guys want to talk to her and if you guys want to take pictures. And again, thank you guys for coming.